Marcus, it seems like those guys up front are taking strides each and every week. What can you say about your offensive line so far? Um, they've done a great job. And, you know, not only running the football, but in pass protection as well. Um, it's not easy, you know, the way that we play. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, the first real pass set you're going to get is on third down. And uh, our guys have done a great job, and a lot of credit is to them and, and how well we've done so far. You guys are more efficient in the red zone in Seattle, I think, than you had been in the previous two games. Why the success there? What was the difference? I thought first and second down we did a good job of keeping ourselves uh, ahead of the sticks. And then, for the most part, we took care of the ball. And then also, you know, limiting the penalties. I know one drive we had a penalty that kind of ended up the reason why we kicked the field goal. But if we're able to just kind of stay ahead of the chains, um, you know, we're going to be able to execute down there. When you have an all-pro pass rusher potentially not playing on Sunday, how does that change your preparation for Cleveland? Well, I think you got to just have the mindset that he is going to play. Um, you know, wish, wish him the best. I wish he's healthy and all that. Um, but for us in our preparation, we just have to play like he's going to be, be out there. What is it about that Cleveland defense that you see when you turn on the tape? Uh, fast. You know, they fly around. Um, I really think that that group, um, you know, they play with uh, an intensity and, you know, they're going to come after you, which for us, it's, it's going to be a great test. Um, you know, they're going to try to dictate the line of scrimmage. They're going to try to be physical and do all those kinds of things. Um, but for us, it's just, it's really truly about us and doing what we do and going out there and executing our plan. How much do you hope that that win in Seattle was kind of just a breath of fresh air for you guys moving into week four? I do believe it is a sense of momentum. Um, you know, the first couple of weeks, it is, it's tough to have those couple losses like that. Um, to be able to withstand and, and get a win up in Seattle, I think, is something that is going to help us kind of go in, in the rest of the year. What can you say about Cordero Patterson? Obviously, he dictates a lot of the success in the ground game, for sure. No doubt. Uh, dude's special, right? Uh, more times than not, we just got to get him the ball and let him do his thing. Um, you know, when he has the opportunities, he's going to make plays and um, just finding ways to get him the ball. And Kyle Pitts was more involved, I think, in Seattle than in previous weeks. What was the success in trying to get him the ball as well? Um, really, I think it comes down to the success of Drake. Um, you know, when you have a guy outside that's playing well, kind of opens up things inside. And, and Kyle really took advantage of that and made some plays for us. Go back to CP for a second. I mean, how crazy is it? This guy's just, you know, only playing running back a little bit in the past, played it last year, and now he's up there in the league. You guys are fifth overall in, in, in rushing yards per game. Yeah, I, um, you know, being around this league for a long time, kind of knowing who he is, I, I think we all have a respect for the kind of player he is. Um, you know, whether it was in the return game or as a receiver, his ability with the ball in his hand has always been special. Um, so why not just get, hand it to him, you know, let him do his thing. And, um, you know, it's, it's fun to, to play with a guy like that. Um, he keeps you ahead of the sticks. He makes these explosive runs. He really helps our offense out. What's your relationship like with Cordero? Uh, it's been fun. You know, um, I kind of feel it's kind of weird for me because we're kind of the older guys of the group. Um, so. We enjoy, I say I sit next to him on the plane, we play cards. Um, you know, it's kind of fun to be around a guy like that who's got a lot of stories that have uh, played in this league for a long time and we can just kind of share and, and um, just enjoy each other's company. You can just bond over the fact that you guys are some of the older guys. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, right? Like, um, you know, I feel this like a year ago, I was like a young guy. And, um, you know, now I'm like in year eight and these guys are talking about how, you know, I love watching you in high school. And I'm like, jeez, <laughs> I didn't think I was that old. Um, but it's fine. It's cool. You know, it's it's a great mix of guys. Considering Cordero was a former wide receiver, are you surprised with the amount of power that he's finishing some of his runs with? Just kind of downhill running style that he's got. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I've always felt just that from afar he was always a physical player. Um, but yeah, the way he runs the ball, just that, like you said, that tenacity, that intensity, um, is something pretty pretty cool to watch. Um, you can tell, man. It, guys get tired of hitting him. And um, I really think that as, as the game gets going, he kind of gets going, too. Anything else? All right, thank you. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank Have you. a good day. Appreciate it.